Okay, so we're going to have a look at the bus stop method now for division. Um, and actually children really enjoy this one once they get a hang of it, mainly because of the name, I think. But um, this one is laid out slightly differently to all our other sort of column, column methods. Um, but it's uh, the clues in the name. We're going to start by drawing out sort of bus stop shape. And because I'm dividing a four digit number, I'm going to leave enough boxes for four digits. And then I can put my number in there, 9,634. I'm dividing that number by eight. So the language I try and encourage the, the children to use is how many of that number go into that number. And once they get their head around that, if I've got nine, how many eights go into nine, then that helps them access this and know and, and do each step of the calculation. You could say what's nine divided by eight, um, but I just think the idea of how many eights go into nine, and they should be able to say, well, Eight can, you know, if I've got nine of something, and I've got a box where only eight can fit, I can fit one box in there, and there'll be one, one in that box, and one will be left over. So eight into nine would have one lot of eight, and then there'll be one as a remainder. And this is where we have to carry the remainder into the next column. So that then becomes a hundred. Yeah. So we've we've taken we've sort of one lot of 8,000 goes into 9,000, there's 1,000 left. So that's going to go into that hundreds column. Uh, and that's the kind of understanding that underpins it. So now I've got 16 hundreds instead of six hundreds. Um, so now I've got eight into 16. And again, I've got my scaffold over here on the side, um, which you, you can use their diaries to do. So I know that two times eight is 16. So I know that two eights go into 16. And it's really important to sort of encourage children to use their times table knowledge for this because that's how they kind of use the final division facts. Next column here, we've got eights into three. Now I can't, the eight can't fit into three. We can't, three doesn't divide into eights. So I can't put anything. So I've got to put a zero there and that acts like our, as our placeholder. And then I carry my remainder three. And that's a bit of a mistake children often make. They might do that. Oh, eights don't go into three, zero. And they'll forget to carry that remainder and then they'll see, oh, eights into four, oh, that's zero as well. But once they've remembered that remainder, we can now do eights into 32, uh, sorry, 34. And I know that I look at my times table and it's like the previous times table. Um, so when, as we get to bigger numbers, the more the children know their tables, they should know that, okay, well, 32, it's very close to 34. And there's four eights in 32 and then there'll be two left over now there's two way, two things we can do with the remainder sometimes we leave the answer like that 1204 remainder two or we can find the decimal answer and this is a kind of maybe a little next step um a next step to do here but we, what we can do is put a decimal point there and a zero and we'll just carry that two over here. Okay. And I'm going to make sure I put my decimal point there as well. So now I keep going. Eight and 20. So we go back to here. Eight, 16. Well, 24 would be three times. I can't fit that in. So there'll be two lots. And then two times eight is 16. And then there'll be four more to get to my 20. So now I carry that four, that carry that remainder over. And now that wraps up nicely. Eights into 40, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. Uh, and if you have any whizzy children, they should be able to spot that, oh, 1204 um, 0.25, well, that's a quarter, 1204 and a quarter. Um, but that's just showing you how to again extend on to finding the decimal answer. But you can, it often depends what question they're answering there might be a, a thing we need to do with that remainder the, the remainder might be part of the word problem they've they've read so it might be how many um, tables do we need or how many can, how many boxes can we make out of this thing so it often depends what we do with that remainder depends on the uh, question but hopefully there you've seen just how we lay it out um, and again that that's probably your biggest mistake here forgetting to carry that remainder into the next column um, where where, where the, you then divide the number into again I hope that helps you with the bus stop method.